good morning students our uh, today's topic is maternal infections during pregnancy certain infections if occur during pregnancy will become dangerous both to mother and the child one of the common factors leading to birth defect is maternal infection by definition maternal infection is an infection acquired by the mother who then transmits the infection to the fetus not all the infection transmit to the fetus certain infection if occur during pregnancy it will transmit to the fetus and adversely affect both the mother and the fetus and in most cases the outcome will be very bad this transmission can occur through placenta before delivery or during pregnancy or uh, during the time of uh, uh, labor the adverse effect of infection depends on the type of infection time of infection occurs and uh, the duration of infection etc some infections are serious for mothers while others uh, causes major fetal abnormalities we can group these maternal infections as a torch group of infection other infections and uh, some sexually transmitted diseases among these the most important one is torch infection you may familiar with this word torch infection what this torch stands for t toxoplasmosis o other infection r rubella c cytomegalovirus h herpes simplex virus others includes coxsackie virus chickenpox chlamydia hiv syphilis etc so these are the main infections if occur during pregnancy causes major fetal abnormalities so torch infection though it caused by different infections we have seen that torch infections are caused by different organism uh, even though they share some common features the common symptoms of a uh, congenital torch infections or if a mother had an infection during pregnancy then it will adversely affect the neonates newborn and the newborn have these symptoms hepatosplenomegaly anemia pityxia purpura jaundice and uh, chorioretinitis the specific infection may cause additional symptoms hepatosplenomegaly anemia jaundice and chorioretinitis is most important of all the torch syndrome or uh, congenital uh, uh, torch syndrome today we are discussing something about uh, toxoplasmosis the first uh, torch infection toxoplasmosis it is a parasitic disease caused by toxoplasma gondii caused by a parasites actually in adults it is usually asymptomatic or sometimes it produces a mild infection with uh, a few symptoms flu like symptoms like uh, fever fatigue muscle pain lymphadenopathy although we are familiar with this word toxoplasmosis in our general clinical practice we are not seeing this uh, condition toxoplasmosis we are not treating a to toxoplasmosis cases in adult because most of the inf infections are asymptomatic but if infected during pregnancy it will cause us congenital toxoplasmosis or it will adversely affect the fetus or it will adversely affect the newborn and the studies shows that up to half of the world's population on it, uh, is infected by toxoplasmosis but most of them are asymptomatic but approximately 2 lakh cases of congenital toxoplasmosis occur a year even though half of the world population is uh, infected by the disease only 2 lakh cases of congenital toxoplasmosis occur in any how this infection is transmitted generally toxoplasmosis is generally transmitted by oral route by eating a uncooked meat or by eating a infected raw meat uncooked meat or infected raw meat it uh, may also spread through contact with the uh, infected cat feces this is the most uh, common form of uh, transmission of this diseases contact close contact with the cat congenital transmission from mother to fetus occurs through placenta
these three are the mode of transmission of toxoplasmosis main mode of transmission is due to close contact with the cat feces it also transmitted by eating infected raw or uncooked meat and congenital transmission from mother to fetus by uh, through placenta the effect of tox toxoplasmosis on pregnancy it is it either causes abortion or stillbirth or intrauterine growth retardation if uh, the lady gave birth to a newborn that uh, live live born infant is affected with uh, congenital toxoplasmosis and it shows the signs and symptoms of uh, congenital toxoplasmosis risk of infection increases with the duration of pregnancy and the risk is more during the third trimester it is about uh, 60 percent each during third trimester the main symptoms of uh, congenital toxoplasmosis that is if a baby born with the congenital toxoplasmosis that newborn show the signs and symptoms of uh, uh, congenital toxo toxoplasmosis it includes hydrocephalus chorioretinitis hepatosplenomegaly icterus anemia intracerebral calcification convulsion and uh, mental retardation we have seen that uh, chorioretinitis hepatosplenomegaly and icterus are common features of all torch infection here one of the characteristic features are hydrocephalus and intracerebral calcification and the child is mentally retarded how can we diagnose toxoplasmosis and uh, congenital toxoplasmosis diagnosis of congenital toxoplasmosis is very important presence of IgM antibody in newborn indicates congenital infection or the increased level of IgG level also indicates congenital toxoplasmosis in neonates during pregnancy amniocentesis and uh, cortocentesis for detection of IgM antibody the amniotic fluid and fetal blood during pregnancy we have to rule out the chance of uh, this toxoplasmosis we can also diagnose this by PCR for toxoplasmosis quantity and USG is another method to rule out the congenital abnormalities due to infection and material infection is rarely diagnosed because most of the cases are asymptomatic and universal screening is not recommended in all cases Man about management we have seen that toxoplasmosis is a symptomatic disease usually it is a self-limiting illness in most of the in immunocompetent adult and it needs no treatment in many of the cases but uh, the pregnant lady if infected with uh, toxoplasmosis needs treatment but the efficacy of antenatal treatment in reducing congenital toxoplasmosis is not clear antenatal antibiotics did not reduce the prenatal transmission but it reduces the sequel and treatment should be started soon after the diagnosis if we st uh, start the treatment soon after diagnosis during pregnancy it will decrease the uh, consequence of uh, this congenital toxoplasmosis and one of the important preventive measures is uncooked meat unpasteurized milk and contact with the cat should be avoided since uh, the treatment of congenital toxoplasmosis is not favorable it is better to prevent this disease so we should give advice to the pregnant woman regarding this uh, infectious disease and uh, we have to give advice for uh, about the preventive measures to prevent this uh, diseases thank you